Hello everyone. Welcome to today's episode of the daily target series. So let's begin with today's target. I'm going to challenge myself a little bit and make it in CSS only. Like maybe I need one div. So first of all, I'll give the properties under the star. And I have a stake root eight. So the first property is obviously the background. And the background is going to be this one. Let's paste it. And let's give it a height. And the height should be, I think. How much could it be? Let's go with 200. Okay, so now let's give some properties to the body. And it will have a width. I'll just give it full width or I'll just write 400. Because it's going to be the same. Now we need to give a background. Okay. You would be wondering what even am I doing? You'll understand. Just wait. Like I'm trying to manipulate the body's shape to create those triangles, the yellow ones. So let's copy this, paste, right? And maybe we need to go with less. So. What if I go with, instead of 400, what if I use like 350? There's still a difference. And 340, like let's for once make it go into the center. It will not work this way. Just let's, I'm just trying for now and okay, let's give margin to check whether it's the correct size because it does seem to be so 60, no, let's give it at 30. Yeah. So this is the margin we need and we have checked its size although i think i need to decrease this maybe it's 150 no 150 is too less 170 yeah but there is still a little bit difference so maybe we increase this yeah 65 is correct and what we have to do now is like we have created this much. Now we have to use clip path. Once again, I have created a video in which I specifically used clip path to create an effect. At that time, I didn't use polygon. I was using ellipse at that time, but today we would be using polygon. I think I used it in one of the daily target series video. So how it works is we know we only need one fourth of this body to be considered. So we will write 25% and let's give it with the value zero. Then obviously the second one comes 75% because 25%, 75%, 50% is of no use. So 75% and zero. The next one is 100% accompanied by 50%. You would be wondering why. Because 75% is here. Then on the 100%, we need 50 because it's at the half. Now the next one that comes is 75%, but this time it's accompanied by 100%. As you can see, it is taking the shape which we need you'd be simply simply covering this in the center 
just wait a minute and now obviously 25% and 100% and the next one is 0 and 50% Okay, so if we go to difference, if we remove the difference, you can see it has the exact sh shape, although we need to cover up in the middle, but we'll do it soon. Let's also make it a little bit less space occupying. And not that much further also I am even recording this video late let's not go that far yet like I, I am creating this video later today because I wasn't just feeling well today once again but I can ensure that I would be well soon. Okay, so these are the properties for the body. Now next comes the div. And obviously we need to give it some properties which also cover up this area and create this white div. So I'll just create two divs. I'll name them class is equal to a and the second one is going to be I'll just copy and paste it copy and paste it here B so dot a comma dot B they will have quite much the same properties so let's give it a width as we gave the height there 170 and this is a square so I think giving a width of 170 would be accurate and we need not even give a height because obviously it's same and even the background need not to be given because it's again taken from the back side straight ahead you can see that it has come into action but it is on one side so we'll bring it in the center soon just wait a bit so let's give the property for a first and the property is first of all margin should be zero and i would also give another margin because we need not have any margin from the top but we need to have margin on the left and right so i give 340 and if we minus 1 170 from it we get 160 around one yeah we get 170 and if we divide 170 by 2 85 so 85 yeah it's accurately there now the next thing we have to do is give property to b b will first of all have i can either give absolute or i can give fixed i've used absolute a lot let's give fixed now we also need to give it a background color because it has a different color than all of the other ones so let's paste it I would even switch off the difference you can see it is here like let me for once remove this you can see this is what it looked like this is what it looks like now and once again we would give it a clip path which is going to be a polygon so clip path polygon once again, we have to give 0, 50%, comma, 50, wait, not 0, 
it is going to be 50 percent 50 percent even i'm getting a little bit confused let's zero percent 50 percent like it's always going to be have having a 50 percent value nevertheless 50 percent and let's give it with a hundred percent right and the next one is going to be 50 percent hundred percent you can see half of it has already appeared now again zero and 50 percent and it has been created although there are slight differences i'll check them once let me submit it okay it's uh, 612.46 good score let's check once what okay <clears throat> So we have made it in 364 characters and the average count is 611. We are pretty good. And we can even decrease it further. Let's decrease it. And although I wouldn't recommend you at all to do this whenever you are coding in HTML and CSS generally. Even I don't follow these practices at that time. I just have a habit of doing it when I'm working with this website because you know everyone wants a higher score. I was thinking of creating it with purely CSS, but I don't think that would have been a good idea. Although I myself said it in the beginning. Also, let's do one thing. What if I increase the width a little bit or maybe height? 171. Isn't it better? No. My bad. 170.5 169.5 quite near let's check once maybe this does bring us closer yeah it does great like there is still a little bit difference which we can again obviously we can go further with this so first of all i'll decrease it here so 169.5 169.5 even better and now we only have to change the margin a little bit and maybe we get to a better location Okay, so what if I do this or maybe this? Let's check once for once that what it gives us. Okay, it is a 99% match, which isn't good. Was this the one which gave us the high score? If it is, then I'll just leave it here because it's a pretty good score. 618.59 is, is a really good score as compared to the global statistics. They have barely even touched 600. And our characters are far lower than their average characters. So that's it for today's video. Hope to see you in the next one. Till then, bye.